good morning guys and welcome back to my channel thank you once again for tuning in um if you have not done so yet please click that subscribe button down below and yes my nails are done so this is all you're gonna see but yes thank you so much for tuning in um so i'm coming to you guys today with a tutorial video well not really a tutorial but more so like a watch me do um i was going to do i was gonna start making this wig but then i figured why not just get some content for my page since you know i be mia shit or whatever i'll be like i'm gonna be back with y'all <laughs> but that's not even funny like that shouldn't even be a joke that shouldn't even be something i'm aiming for but i'm gonna change all that so um right now i'm gonna be making a quick bob so what i started doing was um setting my closure into place and then um i'm going back in well not back in but i'm gonna outline the closure since i'm gonna start off by bleaching the knots on the closure i just wanted to mark where my closure would lay so that um while the closure is bleaching and all that extra stuff is taking place i can go ahead and sew some tracks down without having to like wait wait on a closure to say well to be exact because ain't nobody waiting and nobody got time for that so let's be just outlining and for this you could use a metallic marker a chalk whatever colored pencil whatever you want to use but these little sharpie metallic pens metallic markers run out of ink so quick like i have about four or five in here and they're all out of ink so i'm just like okay i'm gonna go ahead with chalk now because i'm tired of buying these things they're not that cheap because they're sharpie i mean they're pretty cheap but, but it's a marker it could be like 50 cent <laughs> but um i just need to find a better brand that has a better metallic marker i guess so i finished with that so I have to start like marking and just know that this side is reserved for the closure. I can move this to the side. And I'm gonna get to the bleaching for now. And then we'll get back to this, you know, all that extra stuff. Ooh. So I just use got to be to kind of like spray it on the little flyaways of the closure so it can stay out of the way and the way i do that is pretty simple so there there and then i use a little quick comb to comb it down For this part, all you really need is some um, bleach. For this, I'm using BW2, and then I'm adding 30 volume developer. Um, I already put some bleach into my little mixing bowl. And for the developer, you do not want to put too much. So start with like a small amount and then mix. If you need more, then add on. But since you're just bleaching knots, it should not be like a liquid mixture should be kind of like thick so it does not go through your closure through the lace so as you can see this is not enough so i'm gonna add some more like a little bit kind of way too much so I have to like thicken this up a little this is how your consistency should be thick like a like a thick like a thick snack okay 
like your 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 your, your grandmammy's pancakes, like the Taylor girl said. Thick. So now you want to go ahead and just dab this mixture on. Be light because you do not want it to like be pressed through the lace. You're working with holes. So yeah. That's why I'm pretty generous with the amount that I use because it's like I do not want to be stingy because stinginess will cause you to you know press on and try to like you know make the mixture last and no you don't want none of that just make enough so you don't have to go through that and also if you want you could find something flat like the appliance to um apply the bleach finding something flat usually helps like for me i have like this little bleaching spatula is what i call it but it honestly came with like um I don't remember, but it was some, I think it was like, this I ain't even gonna lie, all I know is I found it in the, um, in the drawer with my, with my hammers and all that extra handy dandy stuff, I think it came with something, but I don't remember, so I ain't even gonna lie. Now that you have it all on the lace. You just want to use like a plastic and kind of like flip this over on it so that it's the heat is being processed and you can also see as it's processing so you know like oh this is enough I'm gonna rinse it out and all the extra stuff so as that takes place I'm gonna move on to my other steps all right so now that my bleach is processing I'm gonna go ahead and um, make my guidelines. And the guidelines are basically the lines that you're gonna be sewing the tracks along when um, making the wig on a sewing machine. So the general rule that I like to follow when, it's, when I start with like bobs or anything, I usually just like to make one line on the band, I guess. Just make sure that there's one line there, one straight line. No curves, no nothing. And then I like to start with my gaps. I make bigger gaps at the at the bottom, so I buy like an inch, an inch big. And then as I get to the top, I want my um my my work to lay closer so that it's like there's no gaps. So when I get up there, I do about like half an inch. So yeah. I'm just gonna show you guys how I do that. You guys can watch me or whatever the case may be. But yeah. All right, so as you can see, my guidelines are done. Um, the bottoms are spaced out way more than my top, where is where I want more tracks to be, you know, condensed so there's no spacing, no gaps. So you have the fullness at the top because with the bob, you're only using two bundles. So yeah. All right, so now, now I'm in my song. Now I'm at my I'm at my sewing machine. I don't know why I couldn't say that. I don't know what's going on. But for this bob in particular, I'm using 12 inches for the back and then 14 inches for the top area because it's gonna be a longer bob. Usually for bobs, I would use like a 10, 10 inch or two 12 inches. But for the for this exact. Yo, I don't know what's going on today, but for this specific bob, I'm going to use a 12 and a 14. 
and for this um i'm gonna be doubling the the inches of the, tw the, the, the i'm gonna be doubling the wefts of the 12 inch bundle so i'm just gonna get them out oh and this bundle is provided by me of course get you a bundle look at that life these are mink so yeah don't forget to put your orders in i'll have my website in my description box so you guys can check that out and for this you're gonna need like a scissor and um maybe a little rat tail comb so that if anything gets stuck under here you can take it out and if you have extra bobbins threading them beforehand would be best and then you don't have to go through taking it out threading and all the extra stuff but i'm lazy so i ain't even want to do that right now and for this you do cut your left so yeah Pulling out the coop at the lot, told him for a 12 fuck swat, buzzing all the bells out the box. I just hit a lick with the box, had to put the stick in the box. Mm. Pour up the whole damn seal, I'ma get lazy. I got the mojo deal, we been trapping like the 80s. She said the nigga so, got the cash out. Told him wipe a nigga, no, say slash slash. I won't never sell my soul, and I get back. So this is what your double dwarf should look like. Okay, so this is what it should look like. It's cute, it's neat, straight to the point, doubled. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with this. But sometimes I do tend to um cut the last bundle into half and then double one half of that and then leave the other half single depending on how much space I have left to cover on the way you sew. So I'm gonna remove this. Yeah, I'm gonna start sewing it onto the cap, and it's basically the same old routine. And steal it with me, then he got the blues in the pouch. Yeah. Took her to the forest, put the wood in the mouth. Bitch, don't wear no shoes in my house. The pilot I'm flying in, I never wanna fly again. I take my chances in traffic. Yeah. She sucking no dick, no hands with it. I just made a rolling plane like a London strip. Yeah. I'm a 2020 president candidate. I done put a hundred bands on Zimmerman shit. I've been moving real games, so that's why she pick a crit. Shotty call me Chris I cut the excess thread as I go because I do not like going back and like cleaning it. That's how you miss some of the thread and I don't got time for that. So I just do it as I go. Buzzing all the bells out the box. I just hit a lick with the box. Had to put the stick in the box. Mm. Pour up the whole damn seal. I'ma get lazy. I got the mojo deals. We been trapping like the 80s. She said the nigga so got the cash out. Told him wipe a nigga, no Say slash slash I won't never sell my soul And I can back that And I really wanna know Where you at, where? Alright, so now that I don't have much space left, what I'm going to do is I'm going to double half of my 14 inch bundle and then apply it and then go single from there to fill the rest in.
So now using the regular needle and thread, I'm gonna sew down the closure so that I can go ahead and finish up the wig and then close it off. sewed it on with my hands I'm gonna go back in and um, readjust the lines to make them more visible and then go back in to do my singers my individual what I can't even lie you ain't my tight you ain't even all that fine in person I can guarantee you if you my kind she got every bag you can imagine big house I can really be bragging hundred thousand in my mouth like what's happening not the big cheap tea that's embarrassing he ain't me you can keep the comparison my bitch probably one of the baddest good girl turning into a savage this bitch got her problem in traffic we can't do it matching g-wagon low-key I've been keeping it classy could be really out here doing them nasty niggas couldn't even see me in last year just started and them niggas in last year. I ain't even tried to and I passed them giving looks I can treat the fashion, drop a song, I be giving them caps Stand alone, I should regular rap Brand new car is noisy Come through when it's roaring You ain't gotta worry Don't care about your boyfriend Now for the last track, I'm gonna combine it with the closure To seal it Yep, and that's how you close it off Perfect, none of you guys can punish me Post my drip up daily just so they can see Turn me up some more so my haters can hit I put it dope in the back of the car and I tell her to go She hit when she land, she bang the band, she back on the road She know how I get when I get in that mode Ain't fucking with bitches, ain't buying no clothes Only do shows and make me some songs Make sure that other shit come and get sold We fuck with these scribbles cause we play with pose We play with our money and not with our nose I used to go to the west to get lost I just came back from the west with a trophy I'm on some motion She said she missed it and sending emojis No time to kick it on my waist in motion Can't say I miss you, I don't got emotions I'm on that back when I step on the First of all, this is straight hair. After you wash it, it curls up. It's not natural. Shotty made that ass clap, she don't need no applause. High fashion, like go, y'all. Yeah. G Wagon, or the Rover. I put some ice on you because you got a cold heart. I know I gotta so keep my now, go, go, go. You just Shot have to cut the flow, inside. Yeah. Cut, that, cut out the extra piece of cap underneath the lace so that your lace can be, you know, that's your part. That's that's where your lace should be touching your braids, your, your, your whatever you put underneath your wig, your recap, whatever the case you may be. But you have to cut out this extra piece. I pull up to the high rise, I'm in the 4-4. Inside Coco. If I got a feeling, I keep it inside my heart. And I keep a pedicure because I don't do facades. You can see my diamonds even when I'm in the dark. And since you got it, it make you go and do anything you want. Shotty made that ass clap, she don't need no applause. High fashion, like Goya. G Wagon, or the Rover. I put some ice on you because you got a cold heart. I know I gotta keep my shorty on go. Drop that ass to the floor. Yeah. Ah, whoa. You ain't gotta do it. Let me tell you, I like you a lot, babe. I wanna start at the top and the bottom, babe. Now you want to shoot with the red at the bottom, babe. You know I like when you ride at the top, babe. If I hit it front and back, she gon' hit the sidewalk. If she got her best friend with her, take her back to.